Hi there, this is the last example we will do uh, uh, on rotation around the origin through any angle theta and this is the question. Point P, which is the coordinate 2 and 1, is rotated around the origin O through an angle theta. We can see the angle of rotation is unknown. The image point is given by uh, P accent and there it's given as some sort of certain number. Okay, determine the angle of rotation. Okay, so that's what we're given. We need to find theta again. In order to solve an unknown, we need to find one equation where that unknown is in. The equation that we use when we're doing rotations is the transformation rule. And this is the transformation rule. Okay, that the image, in other words, x accent, y accent, is equal to taking x multiplied with cos of theta minus y sine of theta this would give me my x coordinate in other words x accent is equal to this okay or my image the x coordinate of the image is equal to that in other words this be equal to that and then for the y portion we have x sine of theta plus y cos of theta now is it clockwise or anti-clockwise well we're not told it doesn't really matter we can once we get our answer we can decide ourselves if it's a positive answer we will say it is anti-clockwise if it's negative we'll say it is clockwise okay so now that we have that this is equal to that we can say that means that negative 2 plus the square root of 3 over 2 is equal to that's the image that's what I'll get if I'll take my objects x the 2 and I multiply it with cos of theta and the object y and I multiply it with sine of theta and I subtract that so that's negative 1 times sine of theta and this is my first equation okay now you'll see we only have one unknown to solve but the problem is that unknown appears in two different functions so we want to eliminate one of those functions because in order to solve a unknown inside a trig function we need a single trig ratio equal to a constant so we want some sort of trig sine cos of tan theta equal to a constant that is our aim at this point it's impossible to make out of this thing a single trig ratio equal to a constant well i think it's impossible i don't know how to do it okay the second part is the y coordinate so since we have two parts we have two equations this one tells me that negative 2 times the square root of 3 minus 1 divided by 2 is what I get if I take x which was 2 multiplied with sine of theta so let me write it here actually underneath the sign here so plus 2 sine theta and the y cos theta y is equal to 1 so 1 cos theta okay and this is my second equation now you can choose whichever you want to solve either you want to get a rid of the sign and so you will have an expression with cos I prefer the expression with cos okay so I'm going to get rid of the signs now how can I get rid of the signs well yeah you can see I've got one sign subtracted and you have got po two positive signs so what I'm going to do with this first equation I'm going to multiply everything with a 2 I'm allowed to do it it is an equation once I multiply everything with 2 I'll have two signs and then I can just add these two equations together and I'll, I'll be done okay so I multiply this with a 2 everything here gets multiplied with a 2 everything here gets multiplied with a 2 so what do I get you could cancel these out okay when you multiply with 2 the problem is you again have to add this and that together so you want a 2 in the denominator so rather just multiply the 2 in at the top there so we get negative 4 plus 2 times the square root of 3 is equal to 4 cos theta minus 2 sine 
theta and this will give you your third equation and this is the equation so that we're now going to say 2 plus 3 whoa that's not 3 2 plus 3 okay so let's add these two together okay oh sorry this was still over 2 okay so if we add these two together we see we've got negative 2 square roots of 3 here and here we have positive 2 square roots of 3 both of them has has the same denominator so I'm allowed to add them together and uh, negative 2 square roots 3 plus 2 square roots 3 gives me no square root 3's so uh, these have cancelled each other out okay then I've got negative 1 and negative 4 so this leaves me with negative 5 over 2 is equal to here I've got 1 cos and here I've got 4 coses so that means adding them together gives me 5 cos theta here I've got 2 and here I've got negative 2 signs so in other words it happens exactly as we wanted we cancelled it completely okay so now this is what I have I've got 5 cos theta I want single trig ratio in other words cos on its own equal to a constant so I must just divide both sides with a 5 okay divide both sides with a 5 which is brilliant because this side it cancels so I've got that cos of theta would equal negative a half okay and this is what I wanted to get to because now I take I get my reference angle okay so let's choose our reference angle is equal to now cos of theta is equal to negative half if I wasn't allowed to use my calculator I see cos is well I know theta must be uh, must be some well no no my reference angle must be some sort of 60 okay must include 60 somehow okay so either but it's negative so it must either be in this quadrant okay so that angle is 60 degrees or it must be in that quadrant it doesn't matter which one you choose I'm going to choose this one which means it's 120 180 minus 60 so my reference angle would be 120 degrees okay that's my reference angle that means my angle of rotation okay theta is equal to 120 degrees plus 360 degrees times K or remember always two solutions except when it comes to 10 it's negative 120 degrees plus 360 degrees times K now again these are all valid solutions okay so we only need one solution however one of these two will not work and I'll tell you why because we only considered cos cos was positive in this and the negative in these two quadrants but what about the sine okay we still need to go and test it for sine okay so let's go and substitute into this equation the original one just one of those two actually just this one let's go test it in this one and see which one will not work okay so let's try theta equal to 120 degrees 360 we don't need to add that we're only going to try theta equal to 120 or theta equal to negative 120 degrees okay if theta is equal to 120 then we get this okay x was equal to it's 2 cos of 120 minus 1 sine of 120 degrees and that gives me 2 cos of 120 we know is negative a half okay sine of 120 is negative square root 3 over 2 okay why because it's 180 degrees minus 60 so this just becomes sine of 60 degrees okay sine of 60 degrees is simply square root 3 over 2 and uh, it's positive in the second quadrant okay so that sign does not change which means the answer I get here is negative 2 minus the square root of 3 over 2 is that what we had let's see negative 2 plus the square root of 3 over 2 so that's not what we had okay which means that it 
is not 120 degrees. Let's try negative 120 degrees. Okay, so we have x is equal to 2 cos of negative 120 degrees. Okay, minus sine of negative 120 degrees. Okay, and this is where we see, aha, cos of a negative angle remains cos of 120. So cos of negative theta is the same as cos of theta. So this is still 2 times a half, negative half actually. Okay, negative 120 is in this quadrant there, the third quadrant. So cos would give a negative answer. Minus sine of negative 120. So negative 120 is in this quadrant. Okay, it is negative 180 degrees plus 60. So this changes into negative sine of 60. So this negative multiplies that negative and makes it a positive. Square root 3 over 2 is equal to, and our final answer is negative 2 plus square root 3 over 2. My angle of rotation is theta is equal to negative 120 degrees or if I wanted to I could rather say let's keep it positive okay so this would be 120 degrees uh, clockwise clockwise okay that's why it's negative clockwise is negative angles or we could say that is 360 minus 120 what does that give me uh, 240 degrees anti-clockwise anti-clockwise okay both of those answers are correct cool this is really a long question and also why it's our last one these are not really easy but I think once you get the gist of it it's actually not even that hard uh, so I hope you got it if you have any questions ask thanks cheers